Hey, happy Friday. Oh my Lord, it is a beautiful day here. It's absolutely beautiful. The weather is perfect. There's, I don't think there's a cloud in the sky. I could be wrong. I'm not seeing any right now. And the, the temperature is just perfect. There's no humidity. It feels so good. I've had the, I had the sliding door open in my house all morning. It felt so good. And uh, just some fresh air, and it's very nice. Um, I'm leaving the post office right now. Um, I was going somewhere the other night, and the low, the tire pressure warning popped up on my thing, telling me that the my rear tire on the driver's side was low. The tire pressure was low, so I stopped by Sheets. You know, Sheets gas station. They have free air. They have a little little air pump. Oh, come on. They have a they have an air pump and it's free. It's free. You can um do it. So I thought I'll just run by sheets right quick and get you know just put some air in that tire. Maybe that's all it needs. It wasn't super low, so I thought well maybe it's just you know low, low, whatever. So I went and did that, and everything was fine. I drove around all day yesterday. No warning. No nothing. But this morning when I was headed to the post office, it popped up again. It's low again. So I'm thinking there's something in my tire. So, I had not planned on going to try to get that fixed this morning, but I guess I'm going to go attempt to get it fixed. This shit always happens to me on Fridays. It's always a Friday. Always. Because, okay, what I do is, there is a chain called Discount Tire. You may have them where you live. I love Discount Tire. I get all of my tires there. They are wonderful. My tires came from there. My son's car, I had new tires put on there. They do all my tire stuff. And they will rotate your tires for free no matter where you got them. Now, of course, they may try to sell you some tires. But my experience with them has been that everybody I've dealt with seemed to be really, you know, honest. I mean, like, they weren't trying to sell you something you didn't need. They would show you the wear on your tires and, you know, give you an estimate like, you know, these tires are, you got this much tread left on them. And, you know, you have about this long before you might want to start thinking about more. They've, I feel like they've always been really honest and straightforward with me. So, I keep going there, and I, I feel like, you know, they're reasonably priced. Of course, tires are expensive no matter where you go. Um, I've gotten a lot of wear out of these tires. Of course, I get them rotated when you're supposed to. I, I keep them rotated and balanced and everything and try to get them to wear evenly. You want to do that. I'm telling you, when it comes to regular maintenance on your car... You will never regret making sure you keep your oil changed when it's supposed to be, rotate your tires, you know, do all these things. And your your car will last longer. It will. And you can avoid a lot of expensive repairs if you just do that. Just like taking care of your teeth, you want to take care of your teeth too. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It really is. I'm not trying to lecture, I'm just reminding you. Have you rotated your tires lately? You might. What I do, I keep track of it on my phone. You know, I just set a little reminder and the mileage and everything, you know, to, you know, check it. So, any, anyway, they rotate them for free. A lot of places will charge you, you know, $20 or more to rotate your tires. They do it for free. No matter where you bought your tires, you didn't have to buy them there. They'll rotate them for free no matter where you bought them. Um, and if you buy your tires there, which I did, and you get a puncture, you get something in your tire, if it is fixable, they will fix it for free. They won't charge you to fix it. So, that's good news for me, because that's what I'm going to go attempt to do right now. I'm headed to Discount Tire right now. Hadn't planned on headed to Discount Tire. You may notice there's a pipe right here. <laughs> I'll explain that in a minute. Yeah, that, that's a pipe. Sorry, I meant to mention that. That's a pipe. I know it's there. I put it there. So, but yeah, I was going to say, I always get something in my tire. I, this, uh, this stuff like this always comes up on a Friday. You do not want to, don't try to go to discount tire on a Saturday. Don't. It is like beyond Thunderdome on Saturdays. Everybody and their mama goes to discount tire on Saturdays. Don't even, don't even try it don't you will be there all damn day make an appointment if you can go ahead and make an appointment 
And if you have an appointment, you won't have to wait as long. Usually if I have to go, I will try to make an appointment to go. I don't have an appointment. I'm just gonna go up here and see if they're busy. If they're super busy, um, I don't know. All I can do is just go stop by Sheets again, I guess, and put more air in it and hope for the best. Try to go back on Monday. I don't know. I'm gonna try anyway. Worst they can do is say, look, we're slammed. We can't get to it right now. But I gotta be back home in two hours because I have the, the HVAC guys are coming to do a tune-up on my furnace sometime between one and five. And my experience with them is usually they come closer to one than five. It's usually right around one when they get there if it's one to five. They're really good about that. They're usually very punctual. You don't have to wait long. But I, I, the reason I have that in here because they're coming today and I thought, you know what, while they're here, I'm going to explain to them what happened to the pipe on the back of my house and I'm going to show them what happened to it and ask them if they would, I'm, I'm going to, to Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere to get another piece of pipe like this. This one's bent. I want to get a new one, a new length of pipe and a 90 degree, you know, connector thing and ask them, would you please just pop this on there? I hate to ask, you know, but would you just pop this on there? Cut the, the length of pipe sticking out is kind of long. Would you cut that back a little bit and pop this on there? please. If they won't do it, I'll just do it my damn self. I don't know. I won't get Paradise Home Improvement to do it. They want to be snarky and bitchy about it, so that's fine. I will, I will, I'll do it myself, or I'll get somebody else to do it. Don't you worry about it. I fixed it. I fixed everything else y'all broke. I'll fix this too. Everything else you screwed up, I have corrected. I'm not going to ask you to do anything. <sighs> So I guess I guess if discount tires busy, yeah, I'll just go to sheets and put some more air in it. Hope it stays pumped up. I don't know. So I'll have to go through the whole weekend with something in my tire. First, I'll have to figure out where the puncture is, and then it depends on where the puncture is as to whether or not it's fixable. I have had. How often do you get stuff in your tires? I'm only asking because this is like the fourth or fifth time this has happened to me this year. And I'm just wondering if that's, I'm thinking that's not normal. It almost makes me wonder, like, what are the odds that I would end up with that many punctures? Not trying to be paranoid, but that just seems like a lot to get in one year. Fortunately, all of them were fixable and I was able to pop up to discount tire and they fixed it and I was on my way and it didn't cost me anything. So if somebody's trying to sabotage my car, um, actually it's kind of fine because this discount tire up here is right next to a really good Goodwill. So while they're fixing my tire, I get to go in there and shop. So thank you. <laughs> Keep doing it, baby. I get it fixed for free and I get to shop in the meantime. You're not putting me out. God, what are they doing over there now? I think they're getting ready to build houses or something over there. I don't know. So anyway, I'm hoping, but I got to be home by one. So I, I have to go get a length of pipe. There is a beautiful, like a 68 Mustang back there, blue and white when you, you can't see it. It's behind that Ford Ranger. It's a really pretty, really pretty Mustang back there. Six, no, might be early 70s. Ah, uh, I got to turn. I can't show it to you. Oh, it's right behind me. Oh, shit, I got a green arrow. Sorry. Damn it. I'm distracted by the car. I don't think you can see it. It's right behind me. I can't. Are you following me? He's following me. Are you going to discount tire with that pretty Mustang? Lucky you. Um, yes, I'm, how busy do they look? parking lot has cars in it, but I can't really tell. Maybe it won't be too bad. Maybe they can actually do it. But yeah, I got a call from Jason at Paradise Home Improvement this morning. And he said, yeah, I got a message that you called me yesterday. I said, no, I didn't call you. Matt called me. And Matt, for marketing, he didn't know why he was calling me. And I didn't either. And then he transferred me to Tawanya. And then 
Well, he said I needed to talk to Larry, but then he transferred me to Tawanya, and then Tawanya said she would give you a message to call me or that she would get in touch with the appropriate person to call me. So I don't really know what's going on. And he said twice, so we're on top of the situation. Don't, I have on no makeup, I'm sorry. We're on top of the situation. Don't worry, we're on top of the situation. I'm sitting here like, you sure about that? Why the fuck you got marketing people calling me? I don't know, but we're on top of the situation. Don't worry. You sound awfully confident. I'm not so sure. But I thought I would ask, ask the HVAC, heating, venting, and air conditioning people. See, the pipe has a... It's bent. It's bent. It's got a crick in it. Look at this shit. You see that? That's where it got ripped out of the wall by Paradise Home Improvement. Don't hire them to do anything. You're asking for trouble. So anyway, I'm going to run in here and see if they can do this and... I guess they'll notice there's a pipe in here. They probably see weirder shit in people's cars. Anyway, thank you for being here. Happy Friday to you. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.